welcome to my YouTube channel Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic apple crumble. You can vary it of course but I'm just going to show you the basic simple apple crumble which everyone loves. Served with some vanilla ice cream. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you do like the video do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media and of course if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell which just gives you gentle reminders of when the videos come out. So enjoy. Right, this is such a simple um, recipe. First of all, we're just going to give ourselves some nice apples. Today I chose pink lady apples, but you can vary it up and, and try different ones. You can mix it with a brandy apple and some normal eating apples. You know, just trial and error. Um, I've got five here. And we're going to cook them in some water and 50 grams of brown sugar. For the topping itself, and this is optional, you don't have to have this, it just gives it a bit more of a crispiness, is 50 grams of oats or three quarter cup. We have 50 grams of butter. We have 100 grams of flour or one cup of flour. And I have some caster sugar, 20 grams of caster sugar or two tablespoons. And another optional extra is a bit of vanilla extract. Right, so what we're going to do is just going to cut these into quarters. Just makes it easier for peeling and cutting. And just take out that core. And of course, you can use a sharp knife like I'm doing or a, or a peeler. I'm peeling the skins on this, but that's an optional. And then I simply slice it into thin slices and then we're going to put them straight into the water and let them cook for about 10 minutes if you're doing a pile of these then put them in some cold water and maybe even a little drop of lemon juice and that stops them from going brown but i'm going to put them straight into this water right so there's all the apples in the pot of water i've got about half a liter of water in here and i just had this on a low heat while i was adding all the apples in now I'm going to bring it up to the boil and I'm going to add the sugar, the 50 grams of sugar and just give that a stir and I'm going to let this cook away for about 10 minutes. We'll check it after the 10 minutes and the apple should be nice and soft at that stage and let it just cook in the sugary water. All right, so I'm just going to take the lid off. I've been letting this boil away for about five minutes. You can see that the apples are getting nice and brown from the, the brown sugar with all that lovely kind of caramelly flavour that it will give it. And now we're just going to let it cook for a little bit longer without the lid on and that will let the water evaporate a little bit and give you some lovely juice. So I'm just going to drain this juice. Although we want a little bit of juice, we don't want too much. We don't want to soak it. So I'm just having a little tiny bit of juice left in the pan along with these lovely apples that's caramelised in the water giving it that lovely golden colour. So we're just going to put this into a small Pyrex dish. You don't have to put juice in it, but I think it's nice just to put a tiny bit in. And we'll squash this down with your spoon. And now we'll put this to one side and we'll make the crumble mix. Now I'm just using a food processor because it's simpler. Into our food processor, we are putting our flour you can do this by hand in a bowl. If you were doing it by hand, you would just put the butter and flour and rub it together with your fingertips, making sure the butter is cold and that your hands are cold. So we'll just give this a whiz with the flour and the butter first. So if you were doing it by hand, this is the texture roughly you would get as well. Just a soft, crumbly texture. Now we're going to add both types of sugar. Now you can use all caster sugar if you prefer or you can use all brown sugar but I just think it's nice with a little bit of a mix. And you just want about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract if you're going to be putting it in. I'm just going to give this a quick mix. Now we can also add cinnamon if you wanted to. A little half teaspoon of cinnamon. And doesn't that look lovely to put on your crumble? Now you can leave it like that or you can add some porridge oats. Now 
Now we're going to just put this mixture, see how it changes it when you put the porridge oats in. And another thing you could do is even put a few nuts in there if you wanted to. Some almonds would be quite nice. Just varies it up a little bit. See, that looks delicious, doesn't it? And that's all ready to go in the oven. And this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. So you can see the lovely apples underneath. You can vary that up by maybe doing apple and pear. As you can see, this looks delicious, doesn't it? This has been in the oven for 25 minutes on gas mark five. And you can just have a look around the outside and you can see how gorgeous that looks. And it smells amazing. Okay. So now I'm just gonna dish this up into a plate and of course taste it. That's the best bit about doing these cooking videos, <laughs> the tasting. Right, I'm just going to dish up some vanilla ice cream with this, but actually what would go really nice is lovely caramel ice cream. And I've actually got a lovely recipe and I'll put a link below in the description and in the comments section. Thank you for watching today's video on how to make a lovely delicious apple crumble so i look forward to doing more videos for you so keep watching every week thanks for your support bye